Hey guys, this video we are going to discuss uh, a recursive algorithm uh, to compute the coefficient of Newton's uh, interpolation polynomial. Hope you are uh, uh, you remember these uh, this uh, Newton's uh, divided difference polynomial, right? We generated uh, this this polynomial recursively. And here we got these coefficients a0, a1, a2, and so on. And right, so we saw that a1 is a slope of secant line joining uh, x0, y0, and x1, y1, and and the a2. We saw that uh, we noticed that uh, this one is, uh, is something this one is like equal to uh, some kind of uh, second derivative of a function uh, at a point near x2 uh, or x0 right so we are going to find these coefficient now using this recursive uh, algorithm right we we start the recursive method is initiated with the recursion is initiated with these with these values right so this is your y i's so i so this i runs from uh, 0 to n so i so here you have yep n plus 1 data set so definitely this i runs from 0 to n right 0 to n right so so i define this uh, this function f square bracket xi is equal to this right i initiate this so so now i now i consider uh, the i define the next level right so now i consider these two uh, neighboring points of this da data set i consider these two neighboring points and i define this function f uh, square bracket x naught comma x1 is equal to f of uh, x1 minus f of x0 divided by x1 minus x0 so basically this is your uh, so this is your y1 let's uh, write this yep this is basically this is your y1 yep. y1 minus y0 divided by x1 minus x1 so this is so we define f uh, x0 comma x1 is this one right we define this way right and all the time we consider the two consecutive uh, data set this one and this and that one like that and so on right and then we can define the other pair f of x1 comma x2 x f of x1 comma x2 right is equal to uh, this one so you can change uh, it doesn't matter you can change you can swap these two it doesn't matter uh, so then you have to swap the other two terms as well right so so likewise i define f of yep this way so initially we had this data points so this is your x component the corresponding y data point is y naught which is equal to f of square bracket x naught right and the next data point is x sub one and the corresponding y this is the corresponding uh, y value right and so this is our first level first
first level, level zero. Let's say this is level zero. Level zero. So this is level one. So here I define. So I define f of uh, I define f of x naught comma x one using these two points. So what is that? Which is equal to f of x one minus f of x zero divided by x one minus a corresponding difference of corresponding x values. So all the time we consider two uh, neighboring points. A similar way you can define x f of x one comma x two, right? Which is this one minus this divided by x this one minus that. f of x two minus x of x one divided by x two minus, and so so you can define these functions uh, in this way, right? So if you go to this one, if you notice this one, this function here. So what is this one? Y one minus y zero divided by x one minus x naught. So this reminds us. So this one is equal to what? This one is equal to your a one, right? So this is your a one. So this one is equal to. So this one here is equal to a one, right? The similar way you can define other uh, other points. Other, if you consider two neighboring points, you can define these things, right? Right. Now we go to next level. So this is the divided. So Newton's. Uh, this is the divided difference of uh, three points, right? So what is the definition of that? Uh, so the first term would be you ignore the first one. Here you ignore this one and write other two points here. Here, right? F of x one comma x two minus, and then. And then, and you ignore the last point. Then you write the other two terms, other two points, x naught comma uh, x x naught comma x one x one comma x one, and divided by divided by x two minus x one x naught x two minus x not right so this one minus that one that polar first point right right uh, do you understand how, how do you write this one so catch the pattern grab the pattern right so here when you write the first term you don't write the first uh first Point right, then you write the other two points right. Minus when you write the second one, you ignore the last term. Last term. So so then then write out the other two f of x naught comma x one. The order doesn't matter. You can change this order right and divided by the last one. So so this one minus the first one, right? So catch the pattern here. Grab the pattern. So when you write this one, uh huh. Don't write the first uh, point here. Write other two minus when you write this one. So don't write the last point, right? Write that. Though it doesn't matter. You can as uh, you can switch these two points, right? And this one would be 
plus one minus first one right all right this is the uh, this is the first level second level and this one is the general kth level right how do you write this one uh, how do you write this one and all the time you don't write the first co co data point here and you write out all other x or data points right minus and then when you write this one here you ignore the last data point x x x point right then you write out other all right other all x points without writing this last one and on the denominator last one minus the first one x naught right so this is the pattern you have to grab that pattern and you can use you, you notice that uh, this one would be your a sub one and uh, what is your a sub two and you can see this is your a uh, yep this one by f of uh, f of x naught this one would be your a zero right here this is your a zero this is your a one and this is the so all the time this uh this has notice this one here yeah look at this so this contains x naught all the time here so x naught so here if you consider two points so it has x naught if you consider k plus one points it has x naught so so the function with x naught is is your coefficient to of the newton's uh, polynomial right here so for this one this is your a naught this is your a1 this is your a k so let's uh, try to so let's try to this uh, fill uh, fill this in a matrix. So we know that so so this is your x uh, coordinates. So this is your x coordinate of your data set, right? So and let's uh, and the corresponding y's are defined as this right so let's write that down so this should be corresponding wise uh -huh. y n and we denote that this one is equal to so f naught is denoted by f this new uh, Notation f of x naught, right? This one f of x one. Uh, all right, I wrote out these things y coordinate. Uh, these are so this is uh, defined as like this, right? F of x naught is equal to y naught y sub 1 is equal to f of x1 and so on and so forth right now we use these two these two neighboring points to define this guy here right so how do you define that how so so we do know that so f of we use these two points these two neighboring points points x naught comma x1 uh, that would be equal to what so that would be equal to so distance between these two this one minus that divided by this coordinate minus this right like this right like this uh-huh now we consider these two uh, data two data points now we write out 
and we write out this function using those two data points x1 comma x2 uh, this would be equal to what this would be equal to this guy minus that guy divided by x2 minus this x1 all right i hope you uh, you can catch this uh, pattern so so if you have x n minus one um, and and we define f of these two data points right f of uh, x n minus one comma x n so this order does not matter right you can change you can swap these two it doesn't matter right right you can consider any order it doesn't matter so this one would be this guy minus the previous guy divided by this guy minus this you look at this all right now we go to next level now we go to next level so this is a level zero first level and second level right so here 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 we use these two terms to write out this guy right all right so so this guy would be f of f of so we use these two guys to write out this so it has uh, x0 x1 and x2 points x0 x1 and x3 x2 points so basically we use these three neighboring points to write out this so this guy is equal to is equal to this one minus that divided by x2 minus x0 yep i think you remember that yeah f of f of x0 comma x1 comma x2 is equal to this guy minus this guy this guy take out take away this guy this guy take away that guy right yep divided by x2 minus x naught x2 minus x and we keep doing this uh, process so you can find the next we keep uh, finding other guys using three neighboring points and finally we have we have x n minus 2 x n minus 1 and last one x n uh -huh. so we keep doing we keep doing this process until until here look at this until we get this one so here we use all points x naught x1 and x n right so here we used here for this one we used three points three neighboring points and the next level would be this right so this is the first level second level third level for third level we use four uh, neighboring data points x0 x1 x2 and x3 to write out this guy here right and we keep doing we keep finding other guys using a uh, three uh, four neighboring points how do we find this just uh, take the difference between this divided by uh, divided by uh, uh, last guy yep take away the first guy I hope you uh, got this pattern right all right get familiar these thing this pat this one this procedure just go through so to understand this 
procedure let's uh, do a small example right so uh, and finally and finally so this would be your coefficient a naught and this is your a1 and a2 and this would be your final coefficient a n of of this uh, this Newton's interpolation polynomial right a naught is this guy and a1 would be this guy here this function and a2 and this guy right? and the last coefficient is this just plug these after computing these numerical values you can plug this value into this uh, Newton's interpolation polynomial then you get this polynomial so you can compute this uh, Newton's polynomial very easily right I hope you understood that one so in my next video I'm going to do a small example on uh, Newton's divided uh, difference method and how let's see how do we find how do we compute these uh, values right and to find out these coefficients right all right see you